Candyland Hunting Grounds. So basically, you have to clear everything for the boss to... Hey guys, welcome to my three cemetery grave difficulty Candyland Hunting Grounds, which is an infinite dungeon here in the worst terrible game realm of the Mad God. Apparently, you gotta kill all the fucking enemies in order to spawn the boss. A boss has appeared. Please teleport. A boss has appeared. That was easy. Oh my god, it's a pink mermaid. And you just fuck it. I'm a bird. And you just destroy it. And then it gives you stuff. And then guess what? You go do it all again. I got a C ring. I'm gonna KMS. Dude, I got... A superior. So the enemies just respawn throughout the area, and then yeah, pretty uh, much. a new boss will come. Um, the smart among you who do this in a larger group um, will keep somebody near a boss room so that everybody can teleport to it, while the others maintain their position throughout um, other rooms. I have two unicorns that are eating my ass right now. <laughs> Though. Dude, they shoot out rainbows? And you gotta watch out, because they kind of do some damage. Um, there's only a few rooms throughout this dungeon, and I don't think that there are too, 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 too many. Um, this would be much better to have a uh, fast-running character on, just in case you get separated from your group. Uh, Where the heck are the freaking... Dude, they gotta be down here. Yeah, they're here. Boss? Yeah. Boss? Yeah, you can teleport around. It's a nice you can saving teleport? Rate. How do you teleport, though? Uh, what? How do you teleport around, though? What do you mean? How do you teleport around, though? Click on a player and you teleport. Oh. Hey. There should be a boss, probably. There should be, but there is none. Oh, there's hey. two Giga Corns right here. So sometimes the boss breaks, and they just don't spawn. Um, and it's mainly we probably because... have to reset. All right, everyone, TP here. Let's TP to a single room. Uh, so, oh, there we go. We a got boss one. has a porn. This is this. A, a boss has a porn. <laughs> um. So this one's called the Gigacorn, um, and it shoots big-ass fucking rainbows. And Another then guess candy what? ring. I'm going to kill myself. You do it all over again to where you search the same rooms for more enemies to get another boss. This is really good if you wish to um, get the same crappy pool of items over and over. Maybe it gives good XP. I don't know. Dude, there's a there's a there's a there's a duck down here. A duck? Yeah. What do you mean a duck? A swan. Yeah, these guys give decent XP. So you guys should like, you know, bring your lower level friends down here so they can um quickly go up and level and you just do this unbothered. Um, sometimes it requires two, maybe three passes through in order to find all the enemies because they seem to spawn in different spots. This is a buff fairy. And then you just kill it. You <laughs> Did you hear his groan at the end? Who's? The, the fairy. Ah, see? If you play this game with sounds, you're a scrub. Ah, oh, fuck and that's you. Why, that's why I write the script for these guides and you don't. Ah, I'm gonna go cry and for six hours now. Fucking hate myself. Oh my Please god. Donate to my Patreon. Donate to my Patreon. Eighty dollars, guys. Please donate to my Patreon. As it stands, YouTube does not pay me enough in order to do these guides, and I keep on bringing you guys high quality, high octane content. It looks like right now we're gonna be facing a desire troll. Um, this is just me at midnight. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I'm a fucking hedgehog.
And look at that. You can get some mithril armor for your lower level buddies. Um, I will be using this for my next character as soon as I die. See, already making um, already making bank for my inevitable death here. Because this dungeon is supposedly one of the hardest ones. It did say three cemetery gravestones um, as a difficulty. And I've never done anything more than five. So that's three out of five of the five being the hardest, while three being like a medium. And even on medium, you can die. And yeah, yeah, yeah. They also, they also drop gumballs. Um, usually you, you can just forget the gum part, and they're just different color balls. So you got a purple ball and then a blue ball. Gotta I love blue that. balls. Yeah, um, of course you would. Oh fuck you. <laughs> um, but these give you little stat boot boost boofs. <laughs> It's like a dog, like stat boofs. These give you little stat boofs. Oh, and see, Snail sometimes does these cool things. Little Squinty Rice over here does some cool things to where he'll give you fucking like snake oil and healing tomes. Um, but these, uh, these, These uh, these gumballs can be used to give you plus six attack, defense, whatever, for about 20 seconds, which is really helpful for the boss in case you don't want to die. And as you can see, I'm already about to die because of these AOE attacks that they, uh, they tend to do here in this, uh, in this difficult, difficult dungeon. Um, but all, as always, you know, having a, a big-ass swan follow you around is kind of, a, uh, is kind of like a cheating maneuver. So it looks like for this dungeon that each each round you progress, you have to clear the rooms that many more times in order to get the boss to spawn. Mm -hmm. So depending upon how far you want to go, it may be more and more of a time commitment. But this is also, as stated before, a great, great way to level up your uh, new buddies, especially when the Unity port comes out. This is so ridiculous. Like, how many rooms have we cleared now? But see, this is just this is just what the uh, what the guide or what the dungeon creators wanted, and by that I mean Decca. And by that I don't mean Decca, because I don't know who makes the game. Decca. Decca. Um, it's also a very slow way of gaining fame. Once again. Wait, guys, let's reset. Let's go into let's go into this room. TP. Just be also a coward. Come here and just wait to reset. All right. It might also be very, very, very nice to have assassin boys running throughout the uh, running throughout the dungeon. There like, are giga coins here. Giga. Oh, unicorns. Yeah, unicorns. Um, they obviously do so much damage that you know you'd be dead without a pet. So in challenger mode, this is a uh, this is not a fun dungeon. Ooh, even more gigacorns. And little troll dolls too, man. Look at this. They're giving us all the Oh my god. It's like me on a Saturday night. Oh my god. Fucking spawn, you dumbass boss. Dude. Like sometimes. This dungeon just makes me want to, like, commit seppuku. Yeah, it's like you keep looking at, like, it's candy pink brightness and you just want to take that I just, brightness and kill I just want to zoom it. in on the candiest of pinks and imagine myself in a world filled with 
sweet things, um, apparently flying gumballs. Um, but like I said before, we're forgetting the gum part. Um, thank you once again, Snail. I can't accept all these wonderful, wonderful gifts. Everybody, please go back to our lovely, lovely Nixerd for a um, a reset. Hey, you fucks, come back here for a reset. Yes, our lovely, lovely Nixer. Ah. We are going to wait three seconds. Uh, three, three, two, one. Fucking purple, purple pay to win over here. Yeah. <laughs> Um, has decided that she wishes to say one. And now we go looking through all the rooms. Whoever is by the boss, get the fuck away. Oh, there we finally go. Guys, it's a spoiled cream puff! This one you just stand by the boss. And I got a gumball. Nice. God. Rinse and repeat. So now you want to go on a hunting party again. This is why it's called the hunting ground. Oh my God. A swole fairy has a beard. This is where you also just want to go back again and eat its ass. And you just want to stand by it. But because I'm confused, I cannot stand by it. And then you can get your gumball. And then you run, everyone runs away from the boss fight. And then you kill stuff again. It would be much better to stay in a group in order to ensure that nobody fucks up the boss spawn. As you can see, the little minions here have all decided to teleport to the big group. Oh my god, I can't stand this. I can't stand looking at sea lands. <laughs> I can't stand any of this. I'm gonna go. I'm I'm leaving. I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night. Goodbye. Enjoy. Oh my god, I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> As you can see, sea lands sometimes fucks with people. And uh, they, they, they really want to, like, leave. So, like, what you gotta do, I said sea lanes. This fucks with your mind. And you just gotta look at this nasty pink color for the whole rest of your life. And this is, this is the dungeon that you do um, for the rest of your life on Rome for now. Um, and you just want to make sure that you're using up your gumballs as you go in order not to completely fill up your inventory with uh, these shitty little things. Um, but they do boost your... Uh, your dex, your attack, your defense, your vit for 20 seconds. So if you keep doing that, you could be the most OP character um, for a grand total of 20 seconds. Um, you know, I really kind of want these, uh, these little orange fairies to, like, help us out. I wish there was a way you could actually have those as a pet. That would be quite quite interesting to see Deca do um, to where they introduce these as, uh, as pets um, and as you do the hunting grounds you know you just keep making you know waves back and forth you usually want to stick close together to not mess it up and as you can see we have spawned another swole fairy and we're going to go and mess up this dude's day um, it could be a girl I don't know it could be a guy it's just a swole fairy. Whoever it is, whatever it is, you've known they made some good gains in life. They've uh, they've they've really adapted themselves to uh, they've applied themselves to uh, get the best stuff. And oh my god, I almost died. See, I'm telling you guys, you gotta watch out for this dungeon. It's it's a level three, but 
don't let that don't let that uh that 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 trick you look at that we got another gigacorn i can't wait to pop my gumballs we're gonna pop all our gumballs here we're gonna become the most op player for about 30 seconds and we're just gonna absolutely eat his ass <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, I almost died. Thanks you guys again for <laughs> taking a look at this uh the uh, Candyland hunting grounds. I'll see you in the next one. I'll catch you guys in the Unity port. Be sure to do these for easy leveling tips and gathering uh quick little boosts. Um see you guys later. See ya.